Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. We've just got done discussing the implications of each of the Ten Commandments and how one can violate them, so the question now is, what exactly does that mean? How does it impact our relationship with God? Well, to start with, no, you don't need to have never broken any of these commandments in order to get to heaven. Nonetheless, if you have broken one, you might end up in hell. You see, these commandments represent the kinds of things that you can go to hell for, since each represents a rejection of God's will for your life and or a refusal to obey him in important matters. Now, under what circumstances can breaking a commandment get you into hell? Well, aside from violating the commandment itself, there are two other requirements. Requirement 1. You must know that what you're doing is really wrong. You must be aware of the sinfulness of your action and deliberately choose to do it anyway. Requirement 2. You must not sincerely repent of it. If both of these requirements is present, the sin against the commandments is known as a mortal sin. Other kinds of sins are venial sins. Only mortal sins can result in eternal damnation, because mortal sins kill the life of God within you. However, you only need to commit one in order for this to happen. Now here's the important thing. Even if you have committed a mortal sin in the past, or even multiple mortal sins, God has still provided a means for you to be saved. I know most of us, myself included, need this means. The Sacrament of Reconciliation, but I'll discuss the sacraments more in the next season. Just remember for the moment that being sincerely sorry for your sins and intending to do better in the future can by itself be of great spiritual benefit to the sinner and open him up to God's forgiveness. Still, if you want to be absolutely certain that your sins have been wiped away, well, I'll see you next season. Next time, what is the Sacrament of Reconciliation? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.